In this lesson, we are going to look at intonation at the end of sentences. In English, like most languages, our intonation goes up at the end of sentences when we are asking for confirmation about things we are not sure about. And it goes down, or stays the same, when we are confirming things we are pretty certain about. Examples I told you about it, didn't I? 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 You like rice, don't you? 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 Toronto is in Canada, right? 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 That's your sister, isn't it? 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 Practice. Please repeat. First with up intonation, two times. Then with down intonation, two times. You've been to Germany, right? 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 He knows the address, doesn't he? 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 That answer is right, isn't it? 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 You like studying English, don't you? You like studying English, don't you? like studying English, don't you? You like studying English, don't you? Test. Are they confirming something they know or something they don't know? Write your answers down. You like living in the city, don't you? You like living in the city, don't you? You finished school, right? You finished school, right? That's your teacher, isn't it? That's your teacher, isn't it? That's John, isn't it? That's John, isn't it? He doesn't live here, does he? He doesn't live here, does he? Answers. One. Down. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Down. Five. Up. 